Hi everyone, Sally Navica here at Spanwong University. It was established in November 4, 2003 by Lao government. This university, right now there are six faculties, but the main point for today I'm going to guide you to see that is Spanwong statue. Okay, let's go. I'll guide you to see it. Okay, so you guys, now we are going to be seeing Spanwong statue and I'm gonna tell you all, all the rules. When you be there, you can take a photo, but please don't touch it. And please don't cry it. Please do your best and politely to be serious. Because in love, we have many rules. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now you guys see Spun Wong Star 2, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you more about Spun Wong story. Prince Spun Wong was born on July 13, 1909 at Ban Mai village, Luang Prabang province. He was the son of Prince Bun Kong and Princess Kam Uwan. After finishing school in Luang Prabang, Prince Spun Wong went to Hanoi to continue his studies. And then he went to Paris, France, to study at the National School of Bridge and Road Engineering, where he graduated in 1937 as a civil engineer. In 1938, he returned to into China and worked on many projects in Laos, Vietnam, and Cambodia. In 1940, Prince Phan Wong joined the Lao Patriotic moment. In 1945, he returned to Laos to help strengthen a revolutionary movement. In October 1945, the Lao Islam government was formed and he was appointed as Minister of Civil Works, Minister of National Defense and Prince Commander of the Armed Force. Later, in 1950, he became the president of New Lao Islam, or Free Lao Front. During the unification of Laos, Prince Spun Wong was the minister of planning the first coalition from 1937 to 1939, and the vice prime minister of the second coalition government in 1962. In 1975, he was irritated the precedence of Lao People Democratic Republic, Lao PDR, and the precedence of the Lao People Springs Assemblies. He serves as the precedence of the Lao PDR until the fifth of the party congress in 1991. Thus, he retired as the precedence due to his ill physical illness. He continued to serve as an advisor to the party central committee. Supan Wong was a leader of the party and stated he was a loyal, honest, a very clever leader in Lao. He devoted all his wisdom and strength to the cause of national independence and progress. Until the end of his life, he worked for the freedom and well-being of the Lao people. He died of a heart attack on January 9, 1995, in Vietnam. He was one of the most famous, respected, and beloved Lao leaders. That's all his story. Yes, so uh, do you want to take a photo with him? They're showing it for you. Okay. Take photo. Take photo. Take photo.
Te follow A, eh, follow A. Okay, so now do you have any questions? Yes. My question is how many languages can Han speak? Oh, that's a good question. He can speak X languages. Anyone have any question more? Yes, I have one more question. My question is why did they use his name for this university? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, right now you can answer your questions. They use his name for this university because he was the first president of the Democratic Lao People's Republic of Laos. Do anyone have any question more? No, I have no any questions more. Okay, this for that's all for today.